Johanna Cook and you are watching this week's episode of Great Everyday Meals. I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys for cranberry lacquer Cornish game hens. I know that it sounds complicated and fancy and it is quite elegant but it is so simple. It's incredibly simple and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. The cranberry lacquer that part of the recipe really is taking cranberry compote or sauce. Um, compote is just a thicker, kind of more jammy version of it. We have some cranberries here, 12 ounces of them. We also have apricot preserves or jam. We have water and of course a little bit of sugar. That's all we're gonna do to make this. And then I have some Cornish game hens right here that we're gonna slather it all over and then we're gonna roast it in the oven. This is a really great recipe for this Thanksgiving season. I really like this recipe also for a smaller crowd. Sometimes we do multiple events, right? You do events for your family, events for your coworkers and your bosses. This is a really good one also for two. If there's just two of you and you want to kind of surprise your honey with a really nice, um, sweet Thanksgiving dinner, this is a great one. Instead of roasting an entire turkey, get a couple Cornish game hens and present your cranberry lacquered Cornish game hens meal. So let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. I'm going to show you exactly how to make our cranberry compote. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our cranberry compote. We're going to turn this on here. I have a pot. We're going to put to medium heat our 12 ounces of cranberries. These are actually still frozen. So we'll put that in. And what's going to start to happen is that these, these um, little cranberries are going to start to pop. We're going to add a quarter cup of water. Get that started. Just put it all in there. We're going to add also, let me open this up, a quarter cup of sugar. Cranberry is very tart, so I always start off with a quarter cup of sugar and then just go up. You could always add a little bit more if it's not as sweet. And then we're going to do a jar of apricot preserves. This is also very sweet, which is why I only started with a quarter cup of that granulated sugar. We're going to put the entire jar in here. This is going to help to make this really good. Get that all in there. Very good. Just want to mix this up. Love this color. This is exactly what the holidays is all about. Now you just get that going, and you'll start to see it'll start to pop, start to ooze out, and start to turn into our cranberry compote that we're going to use for our Cornish game hens. Cranberry compote is there, it's simmering away, it's going to start to pop in a couple minutes there and I'm listening for it and while that's happening what we're going to do is prep our game hens. So we have these little cute hens here. Well, the first thing that we want to do is pat them dry. So just get a paper towel and pat them dry. This is so great for a smaller event. Even if you have a bigger event and you have the time to make a few of these, it would be good everyone kind of gets their own or you could cut them in half and everyone gets half of each of the hens. It's a really, really cool way to present and different than turkey. I know there are a lot of people too. Like my mom grew up in the Philippines and didn't really learn how to make a turkey. So when we moved here from the Philippines, we used to always go to a Chinese, a 12 course Chinese restaurant in San Francisco where we grew up and spent Thanksgiving there. That was our Thanksgiving tradition. So this is easy for her to use chicken or game hens because it's something she was familiar with. But I just really think the presentation is so pretty. Um, so we already patted that dry. What we're going to do now is actually before we start seasoning, I have here some oranges and celery that we're going to stuff in the cavity. You could do whatever you want. You could put stuffing, you could put dried fruit, dried apricots would be perfect too since it's in our sauce that we're going to lacquer over this. 
um, later on. So first, I'm going to take here oranges and just take, peel them really. Okay. Take this and that way we could stuff them inside. We don't want any of the white stuff, okay, because that's bitter. So what you want to do is just cut the ends off just like I did. And with your knife, you could use a little pear knife. I have this big one, which I'm comfortable using. And you just kind of want to go to the edge and slowly go around your oranges and peel them. That way you take all the white stuff with you. Okay, I'm going to show you again so you can see more closely. Simple way to do these here. This is a great one you want to segment your oranges, which is what we're going to do. There. So when you want to add oranges to your salads or, you know, anything else, this is a great way to get it out so quickly. Make sure your knife is sharp so that it's easy for you to take the skins off. So pretty, huh? So there you go. We have two oranges here. We also have celery. Just take the ends off. And what we're going to do is just stuff our game hens with this. Just add a little bit more flavor. And what's great is that it's going to help to keep our hens, our little chickadees, very, very moist. And actually what we're going to do here now is slice these up. We don't need to segment these all pretty because it's going in the cavity. So what we want to do, and I want to take as much of the white out because this is what will make it bitter. So we're just then going to slice, slice these up so that we can stuff them in our game hands. Ooh, slippery. <laughs> slippery, be careful, especially if your knife is super sharp. All right. Perfect. So let's just take this stuff we're not going to use out here on the side. And this is what we're going to use to stuff and have cranberry sauce. I could hear popping and bubbling away. I'm just going to turn this up a little bit more. And you want to be careful with that cranberry sauce because of um, the, it turns into like a jelly. It's very, very hot. Just like a candy. So if that pops too much and it gets on your skin, you are going to get burned. So you want to be very careful. Always look at it and stir it. And what we're going to do now here is take our hands. We're going to season them. We're going to add some. First, we're going to go in the cavity. Don't be afraid. We're going to get in there, open it up, put some salt in there. I'm just really focusing on the inside. You want to season everything inside and out. Okay, so then we're going to stuff. We're going to add a couple segments in here. Yummy already. And some celery. Now it's going to be you could fit down. in there. We're going to leave them low here. This is going to be so juicy, so good. And there's nothing like citrus in the holidays. Let's see here. Keep these moist and inside out. And let's see what else we have. Stuff. Stuff these babies. There you go. That looks good to me. Let's see here. So two oranges really fits here for four of these guys. If they don't all fit, that's fine. We really just want to get these plump, and this is really for flavoring. So, let's see here. Awesome. And this is why I also put the salt in the bowl. <laughs> just because, you know, we have here salt. Generously seasoned these guys. Seasoned with salt now. Wipe my hands a little bit. Now we're going to add some pepper. Salt and pepper, so simple. Of course, if you want to get fancier, stick it with some herbs, thyme, 
whatever you have. Rosemary would be really good. I'm just doing the simplest version of this. And that looks good already, <laughs> just like that. And now we're gonna check out our cranberry compote, see how that's doing. We're gonna take that off the stove and slather it all over to get our lacquered effect. And all that juice, sweetness is gonna really make this recipe stand out from anyone else's. Cornish game hens here. We stuffed them earlier, remember? We added some orange segments and celery, salt and pepper. So simple. And remember to pat these dry before anything else, which we did. <clears throat> now we have our cranberry sauce here that we've made from scratch. You saw just how easy it was with just 12 ounces of fresh cranberries, a jar of apricot preserves, and about a three-quarter cup of sugar that we kind of just very slowly let come together in a deep sauce pot. So now we're gonna take some of this and just put it over. When you're spooning it over, make sure it's not touching your hands. Put just a little bit more on this. And what we're gonna do now is take your brush and spread it. You kind of want to paint this on. When you think of anything lacquered, right, I'm always thinking of like that super shiny coat, right, that kind of paint, lacquered paint. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're painting our Cornish game hens to give it that lacquered effect. And the sweetness from this, and it looks so festive with this The color is going to get even deeper when you put it in the oven and caramelize. So what we want to do is really just get that in all the little crevices here with your brush. Look at that. Such a simple recipe. Totally make you look like a rock star, right? You have your bosses over. <laughs> you make sure that you get that promotion for the new year. Make sure you make this for your boss. And we have this. We've painted them on. That's pretty already, huh? And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set this brush aside. We have some more of our cranberry sauce that we made. We're gonna put this in the oven, 375, for about one hour. In about 20 minutes from now, we're gonna check it out, add a little bit more of our sauce on top just to start layering that flavor and that lacquered look. Love that. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Now after about 25 to 30 minutes, this is how our Cornish game hens look. They look great. And this is with just one basting. So we're going to go out and I took them out right now to add a little bit more of our cranberry sauce that we made so that it gets even more of that lacquer effect. You know, that lacquer effect that we're talking about. You could already see that it's glistening. And we're just going to do the same thing. And because we put the citrus in there, in the middle you will find, also we stuffed the birds here with the fresh orange segments. And you'll see that a lot of juice will come out. What I did earlier too is kind of pour a lot of that juice out. Or another really great way is that if you cook the hens on a rack, that way... They don't get too wet in the bottom. So we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier, which is brush our birds here with this cranberry sauce. And we're going to put them back in the oven to cook even more. And this will get melted again, and it'll actually make the skins crisp up, which is great. It'll get that nice color and get caramelized which is exactly what we want. And we have about 30 more minutes to go. We're gonna pop this back in and check in on our birds about 15 minutes to see they may be ready about 45 minutes in, which is about 15 more minutes from this point. So we'll go check it out in a few. We're gonna put it back in. Oh, here are our Cornish game hens. Look at that. <laughs> Look at these little puppies here, so nice. And you see the cranberry sauce over it. 
gave that lacquered, shiny look that we were talking about. And what you want to do is let it rest for a few. I'm going to take some here to take these forks out. What you want to do is let it rest before you do any cutting, any carving to these guys. <clears throat> that way the juice stays in. And you can see too, there's lots of juice and sauce here that you can turn into gravy um, if you want it. We can do here slowly. Oh, this is so hot. So what we want to do right now while it's resting is we want to check the temperature and it's just like chicken we want it at 165 degrees so let's take here take our thermometer and you want to go to the thickest part of the chicken although these are little smart hens I keep calling them chicken our little hens here um, and the thickest part of the bird which is really I'm gonna go just straight in the middle here of the breast and check the temperature that it's 165 degrees and it is right on one, a little bit over even. So it's perfect. And what, because we put orange segments in there and a little bit of celery inside, it's nice and juicy and not dried out. So here you go here. We're going to, oh, it's falling off the bone. It is so nice. There's one little bird. Have a platter here. And this is such a great Thanksgiving meal. It is perfect for a smaller party, even for two. Lots of you are asking me for recipes for two. And Cornish Game Hands, I always say, is a great, great um, meal to have for two people. It's elegant and delicious. Just very slowly here, putting it in our little platter. I love using white platters also because it just makes it look so nice. Arrange our little birds. And we have some sides here. I have some grapes just to garnish. Always pretty. We have around some grapes here. We have here some sauteed green beans. Just put everything in one platter. Looks so festive, so pretty. Put this aside. And we have some cornbread. So very traditional still, even though you're not doing turkey, you still have the traditional fixins. And there you have it everyone. We have here our meal, cranberry lacquered Cornish game hens. I hope that you try and make this recipe this Thanksgiving in your home and see just how simple it is. We took four Cornish game hens, basted it with homemade cranberry sauce, stuffed them with celery and a little bit of oranges, got our traditional sides, put them all aside here. It's such a beautiful simple meal, so festive, so delicious as well. I hope that you give it a try. Thanks for watching Great Everyday Meals. I am Johanna Cook. Mama Cuisine, I'll see you next time.